I recently did a video all about quiet luxury, dissecting what it means and how you can achieve that look within your own wardrobe. And I received some requests for going into a little bit more detail. So I'm going to create a little bit of a mini series and dive into a couple of the aspects that you can consider for your wardrobe. So in today's video, I want to go over specifically the items that can help you achieve this look. These are really timeless wardrobe pieces. You can wear them with confidence now and for many years into the future. And they're perfect for achieving this really classic quiet luxury look. So let's get started. So the first essential that I want to go over is your perfect tailored shirt. And I love this for achieving this timeless quiet luxury look because there's something a little bit inherently formal about this piece. And that formality is definitely an undercurrent of achieving this aesthetic. You want things that feel very polished and put together. But what I really love about this is you can make it feel very current by going a couple sizes up from your usual size. So rather than going for a fitted look, go for something a little bit more relaxed, a little bit slouchy. Push up the sleeves, tuck it in, and create a really beautiful billowy effect. And then also customizing this within your own color palette is going to be great. So if you want to stick to those really classic, really timeless colors, things like white or off-white, really delicate thin stripes are going to be a good option, things like blue and white, and then also going for things that are a little bit taupey and kind of camely or tan. All of those are going to be perfect for instantly injecting this feeling into your wardrobe. And then also definitely check secondhand and thrift stores and always check the little boys department and the men's department. You can get some really great materials at very reasonable prices and they're perfect for achieving that slightly oversized effect. The next essential that I want to talk about is a pair of tailored pants and there are two versions that I want to go over and both are in my own wardrobe and I find them to be really really versatile and really great for achieving this aesthetic. So the first pair is a pair of higher waist kind of mid to high waist, perfectly tailored and straight leg and then crop. That is my preference for pretty much all year round and I really love it because that ankle crop gives me enough flexibility with all of my shoes. So I can wear that with flats or heels, boots and then sneakers and every type of shoe that I have in my closet. And I also keep these in colorways that really complement this overall color palette. So things like a beautiful off stony color, white, off white, gray I really love and then navy and of course black. And then the second style is high-waisted and a little bit looser. This is kind of like a wider leg and I really love this to be a little bit fitted throughout the hip so that I can get that relaxed feeling without feeling like I'm drowning and it's a really good tip if you are also petite because it can keep you in focus a little bit. And then what I also really love for my preferences here is something with pleating. If I have pleating down the front of a pair of oversized pants it's perfect and something I really love. So consider both options in your own wardrobe. For maximum versatility, I find having both to be really great because the straight leg is going to work all the time. And then right now we're seeing a lot of that kind of more relaxed, oversized feeling. So that can make everything feel very current, but still very classic. As you've seen in my other videos, I recommend getting dressed from the shoes up and starting with your footwear can be a really helpful way to build outfits that are functional and practical. And if you spend time on that, you have things you can actually wear every day and not just look cute when you're standing still and that functionality is really essential when you're trying to achieve this classic and quiet luxury look because you're left with pieces that you can wear every single day. So there are two styles of shoes that I recommend for really rounding out this overall aesthetic and the first is going to be a pair of loafers and what I really love about this is there's so much versatility in how you can customize them. So if you want something really classic going for an almond toe is going to achieve that really well and then something like a pop polished but not too polished uh, leather is going to be really great and keeping your color in either black not patent black but a light nice soft black and then something in the brown family and then burgundy those three options are going to be really versatile and really great for this timeless color palette and then the other option that I want to mention is ballet flat I really love ballet flats and every version of a ballet flat seems to work with outfits that kind of fit this vibe so I've mentioned this in past videos but when you're looking for something that has a slightly more formal feeling. Going for a round toe or an almond toe is going to instantly do that. And then also looking for things with a slight heel. A little bit of a delineation between your heel and the footbed makes a really big difference in how elevated that shoe is going to look. And it can look a lot more finished and a lot more expensive. And that overall feeling is perfect for this aesthetic. My next essential that I recommend for achieving this quiet luxury aesthetic is a bag that you can carry every day and it's actually functional. So 
nothing too oversized, nothing too small. Again, right in the middle. The Goldilocks effect is really essential for things that are timeless, things that won't feel dated because anytime you go a little extreme in either direction, it can feel either too over the top or too nighttime, and then also a little bit restrictive in how trendy it feels. So sticking right in the middle, and for this example, I'm gonna use a tote bag, going for a beautiful tote that's perfectly proportioned for you. It looks like a great mid-sized tote, maybe a top handle or something you put over your shoulder is going to be really great because it's also a little bit relaxed feeling and that kind of um, emphasis is really essential for creating this quiet luxury feeling something that doesn't feel dated but still very timeless and the recommendations here for the color are also going to be important keeping your finishes to a minimum and those colors within the colors we mentioned earlier it's going to go a really long way and i think also here what's really nice to consider is like a beautiful taupey color those are going to go with every color in your wardrobe and be perfect for colder weather and warmer weather so you get maximum versatility and you can use your beautiful bag that you maybe spent a little bit more money on and you can wear it for all year and many years into the future and that type of thinking when building your wardrobe is essential for this and something that allows you to not waste your money because you're going to be careful about what you buy and then actually use it and be able to do so for a really long time so the next essential that i want to talk about about is really beautiful high quality jewelry that's really timeless things that you can wear every day and for many years you're gonna see that be a recurring theme throughout all of this because that type of aesthetic is really essential when it comes to the longevity of your wardrobe and choosing jewelry in really beautiful materials and something that you feel really comfortable wearing it's not obstructive it doesn't get in the way of your day-to-day -day activities but it really helps round out your outfits is really great for this because anytime you're putting on a more simple timeless outfit jewelry can really make it feel customized and then give it that little something extra so that it's not too boring and keeping things simple but with a little bit of touch of sparkle is so gorgeous for this and something that I find really helpful for creating that current feeling as well because you can wear your necklaces all layered you can stack your rings you can stack your earrings and have a lot of fun with customizing all of this and the last essential that I want to talk about is at least one great sweater and something in a really classic color again sticking with those navies the whites the creams the off-white that taupey color kind of like that gray color like what I'm wearing today and finding something in a material that feels really good on your skin and feels a little bit luxe so sticking to natural fibers is going to be essential here because a sweater in a non-natural fiber tends to age a little bit poorly and kind of give away the game a little too quickly so you can kind of tell how much you spent so my recommendation is to go for cotton for something really breathable and comfortable. Just make sure that the knit is nice and tight because a looser knit is gonna again feel a little bit too casual and it's not gonna fit that sweet spot that we're looking for. And then I also really love light wool for this, especially like a merino wool. It creates such a beautiful effect in the sweater and it hangs really beautifully, but it still keeps its shape and allows you to have it for a really long time because it doesn't age poorly. And then cashmere, of course. Cashmere is great for this because we instantly associate cashmere with Lux and you're able to find really beautiful cashmere at the thrift store, secondhand, vintage. Some of my favorite sweaters are from the men's department and they're cashmere. It gives you th that really beautiful kind of relaxed, oversized, comfortable feeling. And especially if you find that sweaters are a little bit too serious feeling sometimes, going slightly oversized and then pushing up the sleeves, it instantly dresses it down in the perfect way. So you get the feeling of that formality, but it still feels very current and you feel like you're living right now rather than trying to replicate an ad from the 90s and something that was beautiful then but feels dated now. So definitely experiment within this. And then also let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you want me to add to this series. I've got a couple things jotted down from recommendations and comments, but let me know and I will add it to my list. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.